एंड वेलकम टू पेपर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग जुलाई 2009 माय नेम इज अर्पण पंडित एंड आई एम फ्रॉम आत्मीय कॉलेज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन पेपर यूजिंग द प्रॉपर मेथड एंड टू स्कोर मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 ए सेज दैट वी नीड टू ड्रॉ Uh, orthographic projections using third angle projection method we need to take three views first would be elevation second would be top view and third would be left hand side view another thing also uh, di- uh, given over here is that this dimension should be using the unidirectional method first of all we will see that what kind of dimension in system are there then we will see that how first angle and third angle projection varies from each other so let's have a take a le- look at the difference between first angle projection and third angle projection first of all we are seeing that regarding the first angle method always elevation would be in the center these are the reference lines we are seeing first angle method elevation would be always in the center top view would be below our front view bottom view would be above our front view on right hand side of the elevation left hand side view will come and on left hand side of the elevation right hand side view will come so this is how first angle method works now let's see how third angle projection works again in this also elevation would be in the center itself third angle projection elevation would be in the center itself top view will come on the top side itself bottom view will be on the bottom side itself on right hand side of this elevation we'll have right hand side view and on left hand side of the view of elevation we'll have left hand side view so this is the difference between two angle projection systems elevation would always be in the center only difference bit uh, difference is another views in third angle projection method views will be in their position itself top view will be on the top bottom view will be in on the bottom right hand side on right hand side left hand side on left hand side whether in the first angle projection method it would be totally opposite elevation would be in the center but bottom view will come in the top top view will come in the bottom 
left hand side view will come in right hand side and right hand side view will come in the left hand side now we'll see how we can draw the projections of a given figure so over here we have been given a figure from which we need to draw the projections you can see x mark given over here so from this direction we need to look the front view so first of all what we are going to do first of all we are going to draw a 60 mm long line before that we will consider that we need to draw third angle projection method so we will put up a reference line we put up a reference line this is a very re uh, reference line should be very light as you can see that I have drawn this line on bottom part of this page the reason we need to draw top view above this if it would be uh, cons uh, considered as a first angle method then I would rather uh, draw this reference line on the top side so that top view can be accommodated in the bottom side itself now I have drawn this reference line first of all now let's have a look at the figure again as you can see over here we will start from this x direction so first of all we are going to draw a very light 60 mm line I have drawn a 60 mm line then we need to draw this line from where we can get this dimension we can get this dimension from over here this line is of 14 mm so we will draw this 14 mm line now we need to draw this line the line is given as 8 mm now if you look we need to draw this line we have given this dimension of 36 over here so we need to deduct 60 from 36 which means that this dimension would be 24 so we will draw this 24 mm line over here now we need to draw this line total distance is given as 25 mm from 25 mm we need to deduct this 14 mm which means that this line dimension would be 11 mm again now this dimension 
this line total length is given as 36 mm and here another dimension is given as 18 mm which means that we need to deduct 18 from this 36 which means that this line would be of 18 mm Now again if you can see that this line is inclined so we just need to join that inclined line to our view. Now we need to draw this half circle. We need to draw this half circle from this 18 mm. So, 18 mm from over here and the radius is given as 10 mm. So, we will take compass of radius 10 and from over here we will mark a point on 18 mm and draw a semicircle. I have marked a point at 18 mm. I have been given radius of 10 mm. Hence, I have taken the radius of 10 mm on the compass. Now the whole view has been completed just we need to take a hidden line as you can see that there has been given a slot but this slot cannot be visible from front view but we can see a hidden line from over here from this line till 13 mm so we will draw a hidden line at 13 mm distance from this line. So, this would be hidden line. Center line for the circle. I am making it darker so that you can have a brief idea. always start from a when you are seeing any sort of orthographic projections and you need to take it from the isometric drawing always start from the lower left corner so that you will have a proper idea that how this thing works So, this kind of view can be plotted as elevation. Now, we need to draw the top view. How we can draw the top view? Top view would be this. We will start from this point and one by one we will follow the procedure to draw the top view. First of all take the projections from the elevation, 
take very light projections so that drawing can be draw easily we can get we'll start from over here i've marked the point now we'll start the procedure from over here we'll draw this line we have got the dimension dimension of 24 60 minus 36 is equal to 24 or else you can take projections from over here projection i have taken the projection join the line now next step this slot this dimension is given as 10 mm on both the side it would be 10 mm so this line would be 10 mm then this line would be 13 mm and this dimension would be 14 mm for this 13 mm dimension you can